The centenary commemoration of the Joseph Fraser Nine Wells Hospital was held yesterday at the hospital premises under the patronage of President Ranil Vikramasinghe. The hospital was established as a memorial for Joseph Fraser, a Scottish planter who played a major role at the beginning of the tea industry in the country. These hospitals in Sri Lanka can not only cater to the Sri Lankans but also to foreigners, to others. If you are going to get foreign patients in the country, we want medical tourism and the health services to be of the highest standard. So this is a good example of the standards we are required. We in fact have to rethink our whole medical health policies where we have private hospitals, government hospitals and actually everything has got uh, intermeshed and the large number of doctors are now leaving the country. How do we educate them? So the first non-government medical faculty will be opened up. We've also given the item to Moratua University but I hope they are giving space for more medical colleges and universities to open up. That's the only way in which we can have more doctors. Some will stay, some will go. But there doesn't seem to be any other option. That we have people of very high standard and we have now to work out a new system where the private and the public can work together and also some form of insurance so that people can make a choice whether to go to a government hospital or to a private hospital. This is what we have to address. We have a long journey and a new system economy which we will open out fully so that private enterprise can also thrive and go forward. Without that engine, the country cannot prosper, cannot develop. <laughs>